counting out enough rice and beans and oil and salt to feed a family of approximately five for about five days. They don't wear power suits or superhero capes. Just moi than Demi Mami. But Melissa Crutchfield, Shannon Trilly, and Nayama Dunbar do fly from continent to continent, scale giant obstacles, and work for good. As representatives of the United Methodist Committee on Relief around the world. Our African counterparts, a lot of them are surprised at how young we are. <laughs> and they even comment on that, you are so young and you're doing so much and you're already responsible for all of these programs. So. Indirectly, the church is also presenting a faith and uh, really breaking some ceilings, not only at the head office level, but even towards the partners in the field. Field work is not new to these three. They all served in the Peace Corps before coming to UMCOR. I also think it's really interesting to think about uh, our former boss, uh, Reverend Sam Dixon, who hired both Shannon and myself and was around when Nyama was brought on board. He had something of a vision. He recognized that, that potential for synergy amongst us as people and as, as kind of staff colleagues working together. He also had faith that a young person could contribute ideas to combat a killer disease. We look at the National Malaria Plan. Imagine a malaria provided me the opportunity of a lifetime. I was a young person in my 20s coming out of the Peace Corps and Sam Dixon, of course, who was then the, the head of UMCOR, looked at me, uh, I don't know why to this day, and said, how would you approach creating a healthcare system out of the system that we represent in Africa? Never would I have had the opportunity to touch a $75 million program and grow it and envision it from the ground up. I don't believe in any other place. One of the greatest things about doing what we do is that we're simultaneously doing it together. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of effort, and it's amazing for young people to have that opportunity. Sometimes these close friends are still surprised by what they've seen and done as leaders on the UMCOR team. And we'll probably think back and be like, oh my gosh, can you remember you know, how crazy it was that we tried to pull off a million mosquito net distribution in Ivory Coast, you know, on a wing and a prayer, basically, because that was early days of Imagine No Malaria. I'll look at Shannon and see what she's accomplished in the few years she's been there, and I'm just amazed. I just think Shannon and Yama are, like, the most amazing women I've ever met. There's just nobody in this job that I can imagine the last four years at MCOR being with than Melissa Crutchfield and Yama Dunbar. Well, my two best friends are my work colleagues every day. The main issue that we can struggle with and help one another with is balance. You know, what is it like to date when, like this week, we're in Accra on Tuesday and have to be in Port-au-Prince, Haiti together by Saturday? What does that mean in terms of how you feel? We understand the moods and the tiredness. We individually hold, hold ourselves to that high mark and we hold each other accountable to that high mark. And that's so comforting and great in a work setting because if I know Shannon is in charge of one aspect of a project, I don't worry about it because I know she's got it under control. And I think she feels the same way about me and we both feel the same way about Melissa. They also hope their success inspires others to get involved. And I think it's a testament to, at a time when the church is looking to engage young people, I found that UMCOR and Imagine No Malaria gave myself and my best friends, my colleagues, an incredible opportunity. And I think many young people in our church are looking at us saying, we want to do that too, can we join you? So I think it's a, an incredible story of personal opportunity, but also of our church who found young people and found a place for us. And we are implementing it and succeeding at a, a level beyond what we would probably be able to do anywhere else.